going, everybody? Bob here, playing a horror game called Midnight Meat Market. Well, that title is very unique. I guess we're going into another world of survival horrors. All right. Subject, Carl Carmichael. Now that's a name. Location, Adrian and Co. What, I'm just here? This is my life now? Why am I at a meat market anyways? Okay, well, this is actually survival horror. Look at this beautiful man. He's living life. Freely. I like the VHS aesthetic. Very cool. I feel like I'm like watching this guy through like a security camera. Alright, dude. Where are we going? You know what? This, uh, these graphics remind me of Sega Saturn. So weird. No, no. Dreamcast. What was that game with the weird dinosaur... What are they called? There's like mutant dinosaur people. It had very similar chunky graphics to this. I like it. Alright. Well, I guess we're going in here. But where am I? What am I doing here? I can sprint. Kinda. What the fuck is this? No, there's just one door here and that's it? What about this? There's a map of someone's house and a news clipping dated for April 1st, 1946. What the fuck? Is this the 50s? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, no, actually, security camera, 1973. Weird. The Adrian & Co. Meat Factory has been shut down. Years-long investigation led by Detective Ackerman brings answers to the decades-old missing persons case. That's a cool name. Ackerman? Huh. I like it. Detective Ackerman. <laughs> Very cool. The rest is too faded to read. Okay, well, you're giving me the Resident Evil clicking description shit? I like it. I like that a lot. Oh, what the f There's a padlock here. I should find the key. What? Oh, this big door's got a padlock, you say. Okay. There's only one door! I don't want to go in here! Hey, what's in here? The fuck is this? Hey, I can see my guy's face, finally! Oh, let me see him. He looked beautiful. Hey, what is this? Locked. There's a sign reading Ticket Room. Aw, oh, dude! I'm getting some good old Resident Evil 1 vibes. We gotta find some keys. I agree. But I don't have any weapons. I can't defend myself, so do I just run? Hey. Okay. Like, getting any. Locked. There's a sign reading Office. What? Wait a minute. Everything's locked in here. Okay. That's weird. So then where do I go? There's something over here? Oh, there is. What the fuck is this? Okay, I went through like a... <laughs> a garage door? Whoa, this place is big, dude. What the fuck? Alright, um... The camera angles are a little bit fucky, I gotta say. Where the fuck did I just go? Hey! Where am I? Game! Hello! What the- Oh, don't give me this bullshit! Where the fuck did my character go? Oh! Wait, I saw him. Okay, well- What the hell was that? The camera angle won't go back? Alright, well that's a little bit fucky. We got a door over there. We got a big garage door over there. Oh, don't change the camera angles on me, please. Fuck's sake. What the? Alright, what door am I going in? We got this door, we got big door. Um... I don't know. Now where the fuck am I? What is this? Bruh. I've lost my character again. Oh, come on, dude. Don't give me this... Where am I? I can't, I can't see myself. Bro, come on, dude. 
This is some tits. You know that? Some fucking bullshit. Come on, dude. Where am I? Where the fuck did I go? Hey! What the? Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, for the sake of God, I found myself again. Hey, Tubby. Hey. Alright. Go this way. Alright. Fuck's sake. See, this is what makes these games so difficult to create. Getting those camera angles, super cool. Very interesting. But goddamn, if you don't do it right, you fucking just disappear and you're stuck looking at a static screen. Can't find your character. Alright, you know what? Let's just wing it. I'm going in the big door. Big door? Big door. Locked! There's a sign that reads, walk in freezer. Walk in freezer? I don't want to go to a freezer. Alright, let's go to this door then. What's in here? What the fuck is that? Nope. Nuh uh. Not playing that game. There's a monster in there. <laughs> Wait, is it always in there? Not always in there. Oh, okay. Okay, if you see monster, run away. That's good game design, I'll give you that. There's part of a letter. I won't tell Dad. I still think you shouldn't go. The whole place gives me the creeps! That guy must be really special. Signed, Janet Ackerman. Wait a minute. What? That guy must be really special. What, are you meeting somebody in a meat factory that's been abandoned for... What? 30 years? <laughs> this is so weird! Alright, motherfucker, let's go in here. What's in here? What's up? What the fuck is this? Hey! What's this? I picked up ticket room key! Alright, we got a fucking key. That's it? I love this character model. I'm not being a dick. I love it. It just gives me those old school vibes. Hardcore, dude! Alright. He's cool. Kind of a dick. But he's cool. I like him. All right, we got a key. I got to avoid some kind of beast. So if beast spawns in, turn around, go in the door. Got it? Got it. Ticket room key. That's all the way back. All right, there goes nothing. Okay. Where was ticket room? It was this one. You, your ticket room, all right? Oh, this is ticket room. Okay. Here we go. So what's in here? What the fuck is this? What's with the texture on the floor? That looks so weird. Now I got the freezer room key. Alright. Oh, I'm just I'm going back and forth. Fuck, man. Alright, well as long as there's no monster spawning in here, you fucking bastard. Are you in here? No, still good. Hey, we're going to the freezer room. No, still no monster. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. Tell you the truth, the loading is actually really good in this. Very quick, like from room to room. All right, what's in here? Meat locker key. Open sesame. The fuck is this? Huh? I understand it's a meat locker. Why is it so dark? Alright, well... What? What am I looking at? Is that a key? Office key. Huh? Why am I stuck? No. It can't be. I got stuck? What the fuck is this? You cocksucker. No. Are you serious? Alright, well, now I gotta restart the entire game. Oh, fuck me, dude. Alright, you know what? <laughs> Look at those dance moves. Alright. I will restart the game and bring myself back here. For your viewing enjoyment. Just a moment, my friends. Alright, we're back in here. 
Don't get fucking stuck. Don't do it. All right? Let's just inch this way. Oh, fuck me, dude. I'm gonna get stuck. Okay, grab that. Now walk backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, my. Oh, thank the Lord. All right. Office key. Where the fuck was there an office? Back in here? Right? In here. Office room? Damn! No! Holy shit, dude! What the fuck? The random monster spawns are brutal, dude! What the hell is that? Okay, you know Okay. Leave me the fuck alone, dick. This room. Office key. Let me in! What the fuck? What the hell kind of office is this? What? It certainly doesn't look like an office to me, dude. Why is it all red and weird? Anything to interact with in here? No? There's a door? That's it. Some cages. I never asked for this. Weird. Very weird. Now let me back in. No! No! <laughs> Fucking prick, dude. Fuck you! You dirty bastard! Okay, so I came from that room. I wanna go this way? Alright, what's in here? The fuck is this? Huh? Now that's a weird cinematic camera angle, dude. What the fuck is that? All right, can I go down here and not get stuck? What the fuck is this? There's like a butterfly on the wall. There's a bloody note, okay? These people, they were willing. It was all a trick, a payment. One body for another. Oh God, the meat. Huh? Begin the procedure? Who are you now? But what of the payment? Will there always be another you? Bring us new flesh. But how? Find them and bring them. Aren't you meant to be meeting someone? Am I? Kimberly McLean. Subject was initiated on a date and woke up in the me- Wait, is that just how it ends? No. Oh. Well, I didn't die. I'll give you that. That was very unique, interesting. Hey, I like these kind of games, but this one gave me some weird vibes. Not just the horror vibes, like strange, surreal, spooky. I don't know. Oh my giggles. You're making something strange here, I gotta say. My only input, maybe add some combat. Don't make death instant? Yeah. But it is fun. I do love exploring these kind of games. Third person survival horror. Always the best. One of my favorite genres and always will be. Hey, I always leave the games in the description. Hey, go give the developer some love and some support. I hope that they keep working on this. Make it into something big and beautiful. I want, I love, and I need more survival horrors. Keep Keep at it, dude. Very cool. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more. Hey, test me. I read and reply to every single comment. So shoot me one. Request a game. Say hey. Say what's up. Anything you want to say. It really helps out with the forbidden YouTube algorithm. And of course, thanks for watching. As always, Bobby Wan here. And Peace out. Move the master of the dark. White tea legend leaves his mama in the realm of horror. Seed prevails. No fear, not the story of hell. Yeah.